you read Peter Lovesey? You know, I don't think I have. <gasps> one of the reasons readers are drawn to mysteries is the tension. This is the first one. This is the second oh, one. Oh, yeah. But at oh, Seattle okay, Mystery so Bookshop, reading. the suspense these days is a little much. Something's changed. Longtime shop owner J.B. Dickey. Don't know what, no. Can't figure out why business is so grim. We can say that this summer sales have been far lower than they have been in the past. We're always glad to see you. The conundrum is this. How does a one-of-a-kind shop with excellent marks on those online review sites... It's a treasure. ...a place many visitors have on their to-do list still struggle? It's a shift of many different things at once. There's Amazon, of course, and the rise of e-books, but what it comes down to is that there just aren't enough people like Lisa Monroe. The R means I've read it. She came here from Florida with a long shopping list and a longing Christian for a literary Olsen experience Olsen. she could only find in Pioneer Square. This was the number one place I wanted to go. And yet, this beloved little shop can't keep losing money. It's now for sale. We have tried over the last decade to keep everything going, to keep it all afloat. And it's now time for someone else to to try and do it better than we can. They've had a few calls, but if there's no buyer, they'll likely have to close. The writing is so, it's so good. good. The ending to this story is still unwritten. If you don't support it, if you don't spend money with it, it will go away. Ted Land, King 5 News.